Okay, so good morning everyone. Uh, I hope you are doing well in this morning. Uh, I would like to show some program for sh shallow foundations. Uh, we have this type programs for shallow fire foundation. It's spread footing, slab, climate element, method, <coughs> or beam. You can find more information in your letters that you have. But I would like to focus on uh, spread footing and our support about our programs. So why we use spread footing? We want to design and verificate the spread footing under wall for under column. Uh, we want to know vertical and horizontal bearing capacity. We want to know settlement or rotation of spread footing and of course reinforcement. Now, for to support, we have a lot of type of support. We can divide it into four basic parts. And first one is video tutorials, where you can find a video how to use our program or how to fill some cells or how to do it. How to do it. I would like to show you one of these videos. And you can find it on our web page on the support and video tutorials. Just click on it and you can find your program in programs. We have a lot of next uh, video tutorials, of course in English. And I would like to find a Do we have some in Russia? Um, I think... Uh, give me a second. No, you can find, but only for finding element methods. And I want to play uh, one English, and then I will show you how to use our program. So this introduction of spread footing, where you can find how to use it. So easiest way to show it is play this video. Yeah, have. I'm sorry we don't have sound. Can we correct it? Can it's because of COVID. I'm really sorry for this. You know? <laughs> if not, we, uh, uh, I can do it ourselves, myself, but uh, I would say that we have a very nice lady yeah. talking mm -hmm. that it's much more, uh, sound. much more nice. sounds, uh, uh, nice. machine for sounds. Uh, yes. Yesterday it worked. Yeah. Oh, no. Configuration calls. Okay, I do the no sound. I will do it. I will do it. and I will show you how to use this program on the end of my presentation. So second part are engineering manuals. Engineering manuals, so something like video tutorials, but they are more detailed, more detailed uh, explanation, more detailed pictures, more notes, some tips or tricks. 
and I would like to show design of the geometry of spread footing. You just click, download it, and it's for free on our web page. When you can open it, you can find uh, which, uh, which type of program is for spread footing file. This includes in installation, and you have find uh, some of that of reference, how low, uh, what type of loads, what type of uh, calculation analysis, what type of verification methodology, and so on. And you can find it frame by frame. This is good for you when you are when you are using first time it or something like that, and you can uh, find how to set, for example, standards or some settings, how to use analysis, how to change analysis, you can find it in this type of manuals. If I compare it with video tutorials, video tutorials are for people who can follow, um, follow steps in real time, or follow, yeah, follow steps in real time. We just uh, watch a video and click on program. This is if you want to study more detailed things about this program or detailed settings or something like that. There are notes, there are some tips or tricks and this is just basic geotechnical task and you, if you read it you know how to use our program. It is very, e it is very easy. So, next part of our, uh, of our support are verification manuals. This is just hand calculation. I would like to show you for spread footing and this is good for for academic people, for students, for teachers. Uh, this is detailed explanation how program works and you know this is not black box. This is formula by formula and results are compared by program. And for example for for for, for bearing capacity you know you, you can see the, that the results are the same. And you know the hand calculation is the same as results from program and program is not black box. And I think this is really important for designers and of course for teachers and students. Uh, another part of our support is help, as my colleague said. You can find it on our web page or in the support on our web page or it is of course included in program. Here you can find a lot of detailed information about methods, about analysis, about frames, about how to use our program, and so on. You can find a really, really a lot of things about theories, how to how to calculate pressures, how to calculate settlement, how to calculate combinations of loads, of, and so on. And of course, it is included in program. I will show you. This is spread footing. And in program is three possible ways how to how to go into the help. Just click on help and content and you will be in the first page of our help or you can use every one key and you will be in the page of help um, the, uh, the page of this help depends on frame if you want to, if you are in the profile and click on the every one key you go into help into the profile if I am in geometry <coughs> and click F every one key, you are now in the geometry and you can find more information about this frame, how to use it, how to fill cells and so on. Or sometimes you can uh, find a question mark, it's for example in adding of soils. Now it's question mark, just click it and you will be in basic data about soils and everything is explained, how to use it, how to fill it. And it's really easy and it is very important for designers and for users. So, now I would like to show how to design or verificate uh, really easy spread footing. So, for example, first part, first frame is projects. There, there is uh, basic data about projects, so something information about task, outdoor, project numbers, and so on. Then is settings. 
the now you can choose your standards or if you want to calculate or if you don't want to calculate settlement and of course type of analysis if it's for drained conditions or if it's for undrained conditions because of long term or short term and analysis on a uh, rock subgrade and so on so first is profile we can choose two types of uh, two layers, so I don't have in, for example, three meters. This program is very easy for using. Then, next frame are soils. Just click and add, as my colleague showed you. Let's classify in something like something like edit and second one. Edit. So now we are definite our soils. It is from geological survey <coughs> or something like that. You must have uh, some information about this. Estimation. Just click, and you have assigned soil to your to your profile. So now we can choose our our type of foundation. There is a lot of type. We have centric spread footing, eccentric. Straight footing on the walls or eccentric spread footings or with steps or cir circular. We can choose, for example, centric. And now we have uh, some information about this how deep, how high is our spread footing. So you can just fill it how, how you want. How you want. import loads for txt files, for example from Sia, from Dubao, it's very easy to import it, or from files from Excel. It's very easy, just open, open your file, found it and next just import it. So now we are at uh, our load, now you can, you can see orientation, which, which is really important for fill this <coughs> Uh, cells, so for example, 60, some moment, 50, 70, and some horizontal force. Very easy. And this is just for, this is design mode, and this is for bearing capacity for settlement or calculation of set settlement we need service load too. So just click service and you now you can change these values of loads or just click add and we have service load. <coughs> also you can see what, what type of design you have, it is design or no, just check it last code, last loop row in this table. So next part is geometry. Now you can Choose your own uh, width or length, this spread footing, or just click dimension. And this is very easy. Uh, calculating of dimensions depends on the bearing capacity of subsoil. Now, if you want, if you have a table value, just fill it, or you can calculate it and program automatically, automatically design uh, dimensions of spread footing. Now, dimensions are changed, as you can see from 2, met two meters to 1.1. Uh, we can choose material of this spread <coughs> footing. Uh, this is unit weight, this is cattle. You can choose from catalog or you can definite on your own. Or of course you can choose a longitudinal and transverse reinforcement too. There is some loads around spread footing. And if you have groundwater table, you just you just define it or okay, you are already. Uh, and now, uh, last thing for input is stage settings. And it depends on your 
It depends if you want to uh, analyze drain conditions. It, it is good for perma permanent uh, analyze uh, permanent state settings. If you have uh, undrained conditions, it's good to uh, use design situation transistor because of pore pressures and so on. So, first part of our outputs or results are bearing, is bearing capacity. Bearing capacity is automatically uh, calculated on the worst, worst load you have. We have just one, so load number one is fine max value automatically. Uh, now on the right side you can see a result as design bearing capacity, extreme contact stress, eccentricity and horizontal bearing capacity. Everything is satisfactory, maybe more, maybe more than expected, but everything is okay. So second part of our results is settlement. And here you can see information about settlement, information about deformation zone, under the spread footing, and of course on the right side you can see next things about settlement and about rotation or rotation of spread footing in X and Y axis. And the last part of results is dimensioning where you uh, define your <coughs> reinforcement of your spread footing. Here is not necessary but just you define a number of bars for length and for weight, diameter and concrete cover. It's really easy to use and really fast. And verification you can find in detail if it's, ne if it's possible or if it's necessary to have a reinforcement. So now we have results and we need to show our customers or we need to get it or put it on paper. So it's easy, it's just clicking and click here <coughs> and we will get a verification document or detailed document as my colleague showed you and everything is the same as in previous example. Okay, of course you can add picture of reinforcement for, for example, for example for dimensions in this cross section you can of course you can do a little bit you can edit it just a little bit and just click OK and you will have it in your final documentation or you can get a 3D view of your foundation. Okay this is how the work how this program works and the last thing of our support is hotline by email or by phone. Uh, by email is good for us because you can send to us data. Um, we can work on it and we have much more time but we are trying to ask your uh, we are trying to resolve your problem in very short time. For example to 24 hours often. And of course you can use our demo version which has no analysis limitations but you are not allowed to save data and save or print outputs and you can find it in support demo versions where you can in section 05 you can choose your language download it install it and try it so thank you very much for your attention and so next slide uh, okay, thank you Boris. I would like to add about uh, spread footing that uh, we, what we have in that video tutorials and what we want to show you that uh, is, I would say, special in the program that it's really fast design of the spread footing that is optimized and the dimensions are minimal. So, if you come to the program speed footing, you really have to start at first <coughs> with inputting of load. That's clear. You can take it from any of structural programs that you have. You just download all combinations, all results of 
in the support. Then you have to define soil properties, where is the water, and then when you did this, you go to geometry and go to dimension design, calculate and the program will design the optimized dimensions of the footing. If you change it to eccentric type, you see that the design is different and it's done the way that all uh, all the spread footing uh, or foundation bottom is under compression. So you can save a lot of time and a lot of money by designing, I would say, optimized spread footing very fast way. And it's up to you if you decide to have a same spread footing for the whole hall or in different in the corners and so on. So design is done the way that all the uh, bearing capacity is uh, acceptable for 99%. So utilization is as high as possible to have it still satisfactory. Uh, maybe I would like, I would tell you something about uh, standards in Geo5. So far we thought you are just designing spread footing, but we didn't tell if we do it by Eurocode or by different standard or just by safety factors. <coughs> uh, that's, uh, that's the way that we uh, divided all the input into two big groups. One group is that your normal work is that you input dimensions, dimensions of the structure. The properties of the soil, you input water, you input uh, another, forces, anchors, geogrids. So the things that you can touch <coughs> that has some physical meaning. And then we have a second group of uh, data and it is standards. It is uh, partial factors, and this group we put into the settings. And settings is very important because you define all the way how to design, not only spread footing, but any type of construction. The setting you can change that for example you say i doing it according to iroko but you can do the spread footing according to russian snake you can do spread complete computing according to chinese standards czech standards and this you can choose in this uh, in this frame sometimes it's too much, too much information. If we go to Eurocode, you see that you have different partial factors for every design situation. You have different safety factors for different design approaches. And uh, in a first, uh, I would say, first versions with Eurocode, we find out that for design of single pipe, you can input 110 different partial factors because you have different partial factors for it. Board piles, drive piles, CFA piles. And for normal user it's absolutely crazy because if you should input 100 different partial factors, it's horrible. So we let the user to define it just once for all Geo5 programs. So you can do your own settings, save it, and the rest of the life you are just designing wall 
and don't care of the standards and of the settings because settings is uh, customized for you. So in the normal version we def we offer about I don't know how much it is now uh, about seventy different settings for different countries as a standard euro code, safety factors, check standards, for something for Russia, China. But for example for Denmark, where they have different uh, different partial factors for importance of the building, we have again five different uh, settings. So if you are in Denmark, you can choose select settings and I have uh, combination CC1, so some important building with, I would say, some public building. You can just only choose it and go to verification and you see, okay, for these settings, the spread footing is not acceptable. What I recommend, if you are not uh, used to work with Europe so much, you can anytime Sorry, mistake. Change just one click to safety factors, and you immediately see that safety factor for your spread footing is 1.7 or mm -hmm. AC. So you see, you have feeling how the structure works. What's your real safety? And then you can switch on uh, to Eurocode again in the settings. <coughs> the same by Eurocode Design Approach 2, for example, or by your National Annex, or by your settings <coughs> that you use in your firm, because again it can be different. And then you go to very capacity and you see it under different settings. I would say that this system can save you at first very much time and at second you will not make a mistake when you introducing that partial factors, safety factors, reduction coefficient theories because you do it once and you can check it several times and then it works for all <coughs> the five programs.